Alright guys, quick break here as we get back into Harvard as we get back into the HSL 2017 playoffs, Harvard Collegiate Institute versus Balboa High School is the matchup we have this time. Crusader Kinnan and Enderel bring you the broadcasts for today's matchups. And this will be the last best of three that we have for today as we uh, get through the round of 16 here. Yeah, this is going to be a, a very exciting one because these compositions are manly. We got melee mid <laughs> assassins everywhere. We got a vein in our game. The, this game is going to go one team's way, and it's going to go one team's way really, really hard, I think. Yeah, and this is going to be interesting as well. Harvard Collegiate Institute, the number one seed in this tournament going up against Baboa High School, the number 16 seed, Harvard Collegiate, though. So Harvard Collegiate, definitely a team to watch out for here number one seed and they're uh, here in the round of eight the quarterfinals and it should be an exciting yeah. one coming out from them here although I this, think we this game is about making a highlight reel here that's what these champions <laughs> are going oh yeah we'll see uh, how, how it comes through under here as Harvard Collegiate Came through through the fall semester, won the winter championship, which didn't mean too much this season as it was just best of ones all the way through for seeding purposes going on into these playoffs here. But still, nevertheless, number one seed, so they had a supposedly a bit of an easier bracket here, but they're up against the number 16 seed here. And we'll see how they can make it through. Balboa High School gonna have to see what they can do to take down these guys. It's the round of 16. So far, in the round of 16, seeing a lot of 2 0 matches, so. Kind of feels like the NBA playoffs right now with all these sweeps coming through, but you know, we'll, when we get into the thick of things, I think it'll get a bit more exciting. Yeah, at least it gets exciting at the end, right? That's if we've, if we've learned anything. Did the NBA playoffs get exciting at the end, though? I'm not sure. About I honestly that. don't know because I was I was on a flight, <laughs> and and every quarter they ended, they're like, yeah, well, they're winning. It's like they give a score, no, not even a spoiler alert. I was like, hey, 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 hold up, maybe I want to watch this. <laughs> Warriors coming out with the win there, of course. Oh my gosh, da bottom oh. lane damage. Demon Maiden going low. Look so that. Karma turns out pretty good in lane. Yeah. So is the, so is the virus. Also, the, the Vayne doesn't offer a whole lot. She's going to be a beast. Vayne early. See. Vayne but early, not, not very that. good, as you say. Yeah. When will they learn? Also, yeah, almost a... Uh, Gonna be an attempt in the bottom lane because Exile's right here. Yep, the Exile coming through here. Exhaust thrown out onto him, but he gets the stun down onto fights here. Exhaust on to reassure you, forcing that flash away. And looks like they'll be able to escape for now and actually want still want to deal some damage back here, but the stun back Ayo. down onto fights here. Exile goes back in. Reassure you still doing some damage. Oh my god, they're trading out in this two on three. Can they come away with a demon made in this so low? Almost gets blocked up by the minions there. Yeah, really intense scrap right there from both of these squads and it's an two interesting on three. gank pathway. Interesting clear from Exile, because he just took his three camps in the bottom side of his jungle. He didn't have a red buff, and that's going to allow Dog Eater to take away so many of these camps. And even though there were all summoners blown from Harvard's bottom lane, that feels like it's going to be a win, at least for Dog Eater on this, you know, more farm it out to level six assassin jungler, who now is going to have a pretty sizable advantage up against his counterpart. Yeah, that's uh, it's like two oh, like two for two versus three, and the bottom lane of Harvard come across here. Now Dog Eater moving up to this top lane here, fourth maybe in a bit of trouble. Gonna be able to trap them inside though, so Harvard Collegiate can't get that game going. Fourth is just gonna be backing away here. Middle lane Howl with a uh, nice lead onto Zeddy Boy High. Yeah. Pretty easy lane matchup for the cast, and it seems. And Exile wants to steal away this blue buff, although Dog Eater did see the ward that was placed down, and that'll stop any <laughs> real attempt from Exile, because that was the trade-off. Dog Eater just skipped his blue entirely to go ahead and counter jungle that elise, but it ends up paying off massive dividends for him. Yep, so now Harvard Collegiate have a gold lead creeping up for themselves here and that's like a huge discrepancy in the jungle here dog yeah. here 10 cs in every to 10. lane yeah 10 cs in every lane you're absolutely correct here and this is maybe the first seed power just <laughs> dominating in cs right now and they give 
A, a 1,000 gold lead at five minutes into this game. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Also, doesn't help that Balboa drafted uh, quite a few fairly weak laners. You know, of course, the vein down bottom lane we already mentioned. Mid lane too. The Cassidy seems to be having his way with this with this fizz pick, and of course, Dog Eater applied some good pressure onto fourth in the top lane. Who's now, you know, sort of evened out the CS, so it's not going nearly as bad as it may have looked originally for him in the top lane. Harbored and Balboa High School here, so we are seeing kind of a calm start here, but I think with Harbored having all these CS advantage, they may just be looking at the score and be like, hey, let's just keep this laning phase going. They're doing well in it so yeah. far, and they may not have to look for anything else here, but uh oh. Not even trying to say this top laner's name, but he's getting flashed in uh -oh. on. An action there in that top lane. Also in the bottom lane, Demon Maiden getting taken down. Fights with that first blood. What a surprise in that bottom lane. Me surely taking down Boosted Sniper. And now the Exile is in here. And we're seeing Exile wanting to go on to fights here. Fights trying to get out. Can't double kill for the Elise there. Howl jumping up here. Has level 6, but can't close that distance in time. So we'll be losing that in top lane. Oh. Fourth going down uh fourth going in yeah dog eater has the ultimate though that yeah, wants to get revenge for his top laner easily does See dog you. eater takes him down yeah this is this is gonna be a fun game there's gonna be a lot of action oh yeah middle lane how it comes back into lane and immediately takes some damage from zeddy boy high there yeah how uh went for a, a very early blasting one so he has a lot of hp but because he didn't actually go for a catalyst of the aeons not a whole lot of you know, HP or any form of sustain in this lane. Although, uh, Zeddy Boy now doesn't have the ultimate, which means that Hal is going to have the upper hand for any trades before that ult comes back. Yep, so kill count tied 3 to 3 here, as you just saw kind of action bursting on into this game, but reassure you, still, and fights this, bo this bottom lane too, oh, this Varus and this Karma, uh, we've, we're seeing them do so much damage. Already in this bottom lane as they won out that 2v2 very cleanly. It was just the Exile that came in at the end and took away that double kill. Yeah, if you wanna... Oh, actually Exile is maybe looking for a, a gank here in the mid lane. Yep, Zeddy Boy high is low here. Exile coming in there. But can't lock down Hal. And oh, Dog Eater coming in from the side. Flash is coming out the Exile this time in trouble. Hal takes him down. Nicely done on the counter gank right there. New Exile didn't have a flash, and that jungle matchup is going for Dog Eater. I mean, the, the numbers lie, but it's 69 CS to 16 CS right there. And oh my Dog god. Dog Eater has a clean level lead over that Elise. Yeah, that's absolutely massive. The bottom lane, Boost and Sniper getting chained up here, and Ryu Shoyu finishes off that kill, gets the Chain of Corruption, and gets the an easy double kill. Out dueling this bottom lane, Harvard Collegiate up now oh six to three. God, reassure you, playing the turret aggro so well right there, just waiting on the very uh -oh. end of it. What? Uh oh, this Fiora is in a lot of trouble here, getting taken down. Maybe. Maybe uh, no, she's out. <laughs> She's gone. That lane match was not going well. We've seen two Fioras. Fiora being one of the best duelists in the game. That's her title. Remember, she's gotten pounded two games in a row. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna have to quickly teleport back up to that top lane and bottom lane. We have to keep watching out for this one. Oh, sorry, no, back up to the top lane. Fourth, getting trapped up here, rooted in there, and Dog Eater takes him down. Yeah, uh, Exile not quite close enough to assist there in the gank. And Harbor, you said it, number one seed. They're looking really good, even when they lose some skirmishes. How does right, this Vanguard okay. have 81 losing in the top lane? Vanguard is the most the CS in the game. Okay. Yeah, oh, he's probably dead though. Oh my god. Like, but like okay, Exile yeah. takes him up, but seriously, how does he okay, have the okay. most CS so in the, the game? So, the right reason now? why he has the most CS in the game is because this whole game started off by Exile clearing his blue side of the jungle and Dog Eater getting the counter jungle. So, he took the Krugs, he's taken the Raptors multiple times from Balboa's jungle, and those camps give so much more numbers as far as CS is concerned than the Wolves from Drop Two. Oh, this is true, this is true. Well, Middle lane though, we are seeing this fight continue to go down. The exile is getting low here. Multiple man. Four takes him down. How under that turret there. City boy high is gonna be able to get out. Yeah. It's not looking too good for Balboa here. They're no. sort of getting run around. 
fourth is the... I mean, you have three kills on the Elise, and you're losing bad bot lane. Oh, bottom lane, I see a, a double kill coming in here once again. Boosted Sniper better be backing away there as... Demon Maiden gets taken out. And now... Another kill for that bottom lane, Varus. Yeah, I mean, Exile, it feels like he just has to sit down in the bottom lane. They're playing so aggressive. This top lane, I, I don't feel like York's gonna do enough for Balboa's team. And if you're losing a turn in 11 minutes, you cannot let that happen. And bottom lane now, fights chasing after Boosted Sniper wins that duel. Huh. Does get taken down. Meanwhile, a shutdown as well on to reassure you as City Boy High was there. And in top lane, Mod Pro Man 4 taking out his lane opponent. Fourth going down action all over the map. We just can't even follow it. Dog, Dog Eater finds Zeddy Boy High here. Gonna get the root down onto him. Pops that ultimate. Here comes how they want to go for a two on three fight here. Stun coming across Dog Eater. Now gonna get focused on by the exile. But Hal is here to assist him. Fighting over around in exile, flashes away as he picks up that kill. Damage coming out from Hal, he takes out the exile, now he's in a 2 on 1. Can he get himself out of this one? Oi oh, wants to turn around, the double kill oh. coming across, oh my! But Demon Maiden flashes forward, finishes him off. What is this game? I thought one team was going to be able to snowball. And yay, the gold says that Harvard is snowballing really hard, but they just even fights her. ever. It's absurd. It's so scrappy. And yeah, top lane turret just went down. Bottom lane turret is just two or three hits away from Harvard claiming that again. Oh, boosted sniper. Almost getting chained up there, but instead we'll just be taking a lot of damage from me. Sure you. And chain of corruption is going to land. Do they want to keep going on for this one? Under the tower of fight. Healing, taking up the aggro, fades away oh, with that mantra and empowered Q. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I also heavily disagree with this vein build. It's, it's the crit vein. Those sorcerer shoes. Yeah, oh yeah, the, the, the karma. <laughs> Stupid damage. But, I mean, you're already going to have a brutal lane phase. Going for the crit build just makes it so you're not even dealing damage until you're at two items, two and a half items. I just, I, I, don't, I don't agree with that really at all. Uh, 12 minutes in here, we have 22 kills on the board. Dog Eater is taking away this blue buff right now. He says, I don't just take out that warden while I hit this blue buff. I don't care about you. Steals that one cleanly away and gets out. Funny thing is, like, Cassidy's supposed to be more of a scaling champion. Fiora doesn't even necessarily like lane matchups early on. She's a, she's a tank buster in the late game, but Harvard are still crushing. Dog Eater destroying it. Yep, jumping in here, two on three here once again for Dog Eater and Hal, but they want to do it. Well, turn pop build the hunt Dem onto Demon Maiden. Demon Maiden oh. getting taken down there. Dog Eater with that kill. Zeddy Boy High trades it off though, and now it's Hal once again left in a one on three. This time he comes away with one. Game turn that around for the second double what? kill again before he goes down. Okay, this Kassan has a Sheen and a three stack Rod of Ages. It should not be dealing this much <laughs> damage. And yeah, Kassan got some buffs a little while ago. Yeah, man, like my, my Kassan doesn't deal that but... My Kassan doesn't deal that much damage. Like straight up. Like look at those dead bodies. He, he just straight or turns that one around. Again, getting two kills when you really should not have. Harvard Collegiate Institute is going to be able to take down this middle lane out of turret here. That's going to be three turrets to start things off here, 14 minutes in, oh my god. They're almost at 10,000 gold, 10, gold in the lead already, they're at 9,000, just shy of 9,000. Yeah, That's there's brutal. still a Drake if they want it, there's brutal. a Rift Herald if they want it. This is not feeling good for them. Yeah, this is power of the number one seed, you just deal more damage. That's what That's happens. That's the real buff you get. Yeah, they all have that passive buff on them as Modpo Man though. He's dead. Fourth finished him off with the Exile coming in for the assist. The Exile is actually 6, 4, and 3. He is actually a 9 out of 11 kill participation. Yeah, but... Yeah, okay, so he's got a lot of kills. But he's down two levels to, Still, the, yeah. to the Rengar. And his team needs kills drastic. Like, this this Bane needs kills. This Fizz needs kills. I like that they're getting the Rift Herald because that's going to stop the bleeding and maybe even net them a turret if they drop down the top. Yeah, but right now, but... doing Rift Herald means two of them are off the map and they may be needed in this middle lane here as there's a push from Harvard brewing here. Yeah. 
You also don't really need two players to take the Rift Herald. You never even needed two for old Rift Herald with a, with a lead. You could have the Spiderlings tank it so she could walk behind and hit that eye, but feels like with those two members on the top side of the map, you can just send four bot from Harvard, and there's zero way through. There's no way through on this entire composition from Balboa. Oh, here's the sound to be the sniper over the side as well as Dog Eater. Goodbye, dual lane once again. Balboa, 80 carried to Fort Combo, not having a great game so far as they're gonna lose their inner Keep turret going. here. Just Who's gonna do the waves? <laughs> Keep going! Who's gonna stop you? <laughs> That's true, there's no wave clear on this team, and oh my god! They're going for this middle bottle lane inhibitor turret. It's only 15 minutes in here. Oh, Stun's nice coming out boss. here. Going to be forced to back away, actually, for now. I don't think they have to back away from anything. Get back in. <laughs> I want to. I want to see. I want to see some risky plays right here. <laughs> <laughs> they don't though. They want. They want to go to the finals. Hey. uh... So does it count as dog? Does it count? Can you flame Horizon if you're if you're a jungler? Yes, that's legal. He's about dog to get it. Dog is at 127, and <laughs> the exile still is at 28. Yes. Hold up, middle lane fight coming in, redemption for the heals. Dog eater gonna return to this middle lane here. The roots coming in, Mapo man gonna go in but gets taken out, and oh, a nice bubble there onto Hal, but they can't get the damage down onto him while he's in the air there, frozen up. So, uh, one for two trade, and turret goes down in the top lane to minions. Yeah. Or is that Rift Herald? No, Rift Herald. that was Rift Herald. No, Rift Herald no, still, oh, no, still wow. in fourth pocket. Yeah, you can use that whenever he wants. Oh, we're going in! Oh, Dog Eater comes in. There it is, there's the Flame Horizon. Yeah, he, he had that a little while ago. 100 CS and ahead of the Exile. Like, Exile can never farm his jungle. <laughs> Yeah, because true. if he goes in the jungle, he will die. It doesn't matter. Exile he has like, cannot again. catch up. Yeah, he's down so much. He has 32 CS at 17 minutes. That's so low. Brutal. That's brutal. Ooh, it lands. Uh oh. And chain of corruption in response. Both of these guys they CC'd up here, it's but a bait. yeah, that, it's a bait. Zeddy boy high able to dash his way out of it though. He's okay. This is almost hard to watch. Because <laughs> it doesn't feel like there's any way for Balboa to turn oh. it. No way clear. Like, they oh. need 23 more minutes to, like, even start do dealing damage again. They're using Rift Herald to try to defend this turret. No, oh, ouch. You go get him, Harold. <laughs> yeah, you got this, buddy. <laughs> go get him, Harold. Nice. Ah, oh, yes. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's... oh, man. Harvard Collegiate. Yeah, by the way, Hal now has uh, his Lich Bane, seven stacks, nine stacks on the Meja, or on the Dark Seal, rather, oh so, uh, my God. he's feeling pretty good, that's 20% CDR with those items, too, he's post-level 11, so he's, he's flying around the map, doing stupid damage. <laughs> uh, I don't think I ever thought I would see a jungler flame horizon the other, but, here we are, here we are, Ender. You should watch me in solo 2017. <laughs> <laughs> to see, oh, so, to see you get flame horizon <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, Washed well. Up caster. <laughs> Harvard now about to reach his 19 minute mark, and they're uh, leading by 10,000 gold pretty comfortably. They probably had the seat for a while now that I think about it, but it's four turrets to one here as they continue to go for. Uh, just pressure all over the map right now, and uh, as you keep saying, I mean, it's not much it looks like Balboa can do here. And, um, yeah. This is a game. There's not much more else to say than there Top is that. Top lane turret going down. All right, fight bottom, get killed. Hal's coming in here. So much damage. Trying to wait for the knockup, and uh oh, can they two on four? Can they do a redemption with the heal? Actually, no one gets healed by it. No. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even kill the Kazan. It was basically oh, just man. face tanking four members. That means their mid lane turret's gone. By the way, and yeah, mod bro doesn't care. Modpo's like, no backing for you. He's going in. Trying to find a kill here. He takes oh down Lucid Sniper. And oh my no. god, look at that regen. Demon Maiden, no. he's next up on the chopping block. Under the turret. Nope, stunned up. Exile takes him down. But they just lost two inner turrets. It was the top and middle lane that just went down. We show you in fights. Still pushing it up. Going to be able to escape from that prison there. But coming up here, 
is the help from Dog Eater flashing over with the throw of the hunt, getting that finishing kill down, and a triple oh. kill just like that. That was an instant triple right there. Goodbye. Two, four members down. They're going to be able to Whoa. make it in heaven. What? Flash again is really sure you. Really feeling that kill right there. What? Can't finish it off though. What? That was so crazy. There goes the uh, middle, lane, oh, man. middle lane inhibitor. Feels bad, man. Yeah, feels pretty bad. 16,000 gold lead. And surrender vote by, by Balboa. Not too much. They're gonna be able to do <laughs> the rest of that game. So uh, that's game one of the series, Ender. Yeah, that was a, uh, I guess a game almost. <laughs> At some point, for the first like eight minutes, it was pretty close. Yeah. And then Harbor just took them. Yeah, and what's... not just the men, but the women and the children too. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard the tragedy of Balboa High School? <laughs> <laughs> no, but everyone's gonna know about. It. Oh man, so I mean, let's take a quick break before we get on into game number two, and I don't know, this break might be longer than the game itself. It's Harvard <laughs> Collegiate Institute versus Baboa High School. Harvard Collegiate Institute, number one seed, showing why they're the number one seed. Absolutely dominating the performance right now. We'll see what happens in uh, game number two here. You're watching the High School Australia 2017 playoffs. We'll be right back. <laughs> 